Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to use absolute reference in Microsoft Excel. I have my actual numbers from 2018 here, so I'm going to total them up real quick with auto sum. And next year I'm expecting a 25% increase. So what you don't want to do is equals the month of June times 0.25. Even though you'll get the correct answers, if I decide to change this to 30%, I've got to edit edit and autofill again. So let's use absolute reference. You can almost always spot an absolute reference cell because it's a number just sitting by itself. So these are all relative reference. That's how Excel normally works. Here's absolute equals 100 times A12 and I want A12 to stay constant when I autofill over so I'm going to press the F4 function key if you press F4, it'll put a dollar sign in front of the column and in front of the row. So I'm saying A12 doesn't move when I pull this over. And let's just test it. I'm looking up in the formula bar, and it's always A12. If I make this 30%, all the numbers change. So there's absolute reference. Here's another example. I'll do one more multiplication and then one division with absolute reference. So in this example, we've got a bunch of ads, 72.34, five of them. If you look in cell G4, it's E4 times F4. Once again, that's relative reference working. But I got to pay tax, and here's my absolute reference cell, M1. So it's going to be equals G4 times M1. Press F4. Keep M1 constant. Auto fill down. And if you notice, up in the formula bar, it's always M1. And then here's the last one. It's going to be division. I'm going to total this up. Auto sum. So 17,270. I want to know 387.02 divided by the 17,000. What percentage that is? Equals that divided by. I want to always reference I-29 when I pull this down. And there I go again, everything's working. That is absolute reference in Microsoft Excel. If you need Excel training in Metro Atlanta, please give me a call. Thank you.